a trifle to spare. You leave the Pennsylvania station at a quarter to four. Read a magazine and then you rainbow some more. Dinner in the dining room, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in North Carolina. When you hear the whistle blow a gig to the bar, then you know that Tennessee is not very far. Shovel all the calling got to keep it rolling. Oh, Chattanooga, there you are. There's gonna be a certain party at the station. That was Chattanooga Choo Choo by the Glenn Miller Orchestra, and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with me. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I am going to do a tutorial covering everything I just played, plus a much simpler version. Uh, and then at the very end, I'm going to do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But hey, right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with its own free tutorial play along and video, just like this one. Or, and tutorial, play along and tutorial video. Yeah, just like this one. <laughs> then uh, check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now, I have to confess... Oh, first off, the uh, the two versions of the song sheet. Okay, it's just two pages of the song sheet. The second page is the same song in the same key with basically less chords. It has less chords and sometimes easier chords, and they're not wrong. That is to say, it's in the right key, and they're correct. They don't have as much panache as the version I played. But if you're a beginner, or you just don't want to work that hard, then play the easier version. And if you play it alongside a friend who's playing the version I just played, it'll sound wonderful. They'll harmonize with each other. It'll sound just great. So uh, so you can do that. Um, as far as the, the strum goes now, <clears throat> I didn't always stick to the strum I wrote. You could. You could stick to that strum. I wrote What I wrote was down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Right? So it's got that emphasis on that up. At that point, that's what I did in the intro, and you could stick to that throughout the song. But I actually held more closely to the lyrics and the where the emphasis seemed like it it would be. So sometimes I didn't pause at all. Right? You leave the Pennsylvania station and to fall. You can do that with no pauses, or you might do it quarter to fall. Right? You can do that however you like. I would say play the way you feel. Uh, you don't have to pause at all in this song, but if you want to, then pause where, where it seems right. Uh, generally speaking, the pause gives an emphasis to the downstroke just before the pause. All the pauses in this song, I think, every time I pause, I skipped an upstroke. No, I'm not even sure. But it, it emphasizes the one you just did when you pause. So it's like... That emphasizes that. I'm doing the wrong key chords now. Usually when you pause, it emphasizes what you just played. Okay. I think I'm going to stop talking about that. Chord transitions now. All right, I'm going to go over the, the easier version for first. Much, much fewer chord transitions. And then I'll go over uh, all the additional ones in the version I played. Okay, so here's the simpler version. Starts with a G, and then uh, after three, it's like. So from G to D7, basically my, my middle finger is kind of the stability point. It's just sliding up one fret. It's barely moving, right? Sliding up one fret from G to bar my index finger, and that's it. And that's uh, also the start of the song. Pardon me, boy. That the Chattanooga choo choo. And then from there, I'm gonna, yes, pick up all my fingers and drop it onto a E7, which is possibly the hardest song in the simpler version, excuse me, the hardest chord in the simpler version of the song. 
black 29. So from the E7 to an A, you're kind of just switching the position of these two, right? Right next to each other. They don't move much. Black 29 from the E7 to the A. And from there, from the A to the D7, I'm, my middle finger's in the right place already. I'm laying it flat and dropping my ring finger. Right? You can do a, a D7 like that, but you don't have to move that much. If you leave, use your middle finger to bar, there you go. Dweck 29, won't you give me a shine? And from there, my ring finger is almost in the right place for the G. It's just going to move over. It's kind of roll up, hardly move even. And you drop your other peep, uh, fingers in place. And then from there, I'll slide the middle finger up again and form the D7 the other way. There's no rules about how you have to form a chord. Frequently, if you can form it in multiple ways, uh, you'll choose which way to form it based on what you just did or what you're about to do. That's what I'm doing. From G to D7 and back is easiest to form it this way, right? I can afford to board a Chattanooga choo-choo, but then I go to the E7 again. I got my fare. And just a trifle to Now here, from the in the bridge, I'm going to use, I, I'm going to do form my D minor in the most comfortable way. So I'm going to use my pinky for the C, and that way I just alternate back and forth. Pennsylvania Station, whoop, me the Pennsylvania Station, the Porter Bar, read a magazine, and you can Right, so I'm just bouncing back and forth. And the same thing with the C7, from C to C7, and then I just kind of move my index finger tinily over to the F. Dinner in the diner, nothing could be finer. It's not much finger movement there, right? C is hovering over the, or the, my pinky's hovering over the C already before I even put it down. Nothing could be finer to that A7. And then, again, from the A7, if my index finger is up here, I'm going to use my middle finger for that D7. Then to have your ham and eggs in. Now, my middle finger's almost in the right place for the F. Carolina. You notice from the F to the G7, your index finger stays put. Carolina. And that's it for the whole song. The rest is duplicated, except for the very, very end. Won't you choo-choo me home? Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Won't you choo-choo me? Won't you? Won't you choo-choo me home? There we go. Sorry. So, Chattanooga choo-choo. seventh fret all right or you can slide it kind of but slide doesn't work quite as well on the G as if you use the chord I use in the in the more complex version okay now the complex uh, chord transitions here we go they're not that complex actually they work very nicely that that is to say your fingers kind of dance around they don't have to move as much as you'd think and even though there is what that 18 chords in this song uh, that I use, uh, or something like that. It's just not that hard. It really isn't because of the way the uh, the chords uh, fit with your fingers, the way they you can dance them. So here's what I mean. A G to a G6, you just pick up a finger. And there you go. To a C6, pick them both of them. And now I form the G7. G, G6. C6. And that's already the intro and uh, the opening line of the verse, right? Pardon me, boy. Is that the Chattanooga choo choo? Now I'm going to do. You just formed a D7 now here, right? This is just two frets up. I'm using that D7 because it sounds cool. That's the only reason. Because it sounds cool. Track 29. Now you notice that's just E7A, but instead I've got it up here. I got my fare. Oh, sorry, track 29. And then from here, so I've, I got the E7, then I leave that barred there, and then I slide the bar down one, and I do a D7 shape on the third fret. So for a D sharp seven, then slide it down. That's it. So I, I got, oh, sorry, <laughs> too high. It's track 29. Now sliding down. Won't you give me a shine? By the way, I frequently 
We'll drop the pinky in just for a little panache. So, sorry. Just like that. That's all. You don't have to do it, but you can if you want. I can afford to go to Chattanooga Choo Choo. Same as we before. I got my fare. And just a trifle to spare. Now, on that stop, actually stop it. Like, stop it probably with your right hand. So, all the music stops. For drama. That's what it's for. Then, here, I'm going to leave my pinky uh, right there, glued to the fretboard. You leave the pencil in the station back for so far. Okay, only for those chords. So, C, C minor 7, pick it up again, C, and now drop it down and pick up the pinky. And from the D minor to G7, you're just moving these fingers over, right? Your index finger stays glued there. That's your anchor point. And then I'm using my pinky again. Read the magazine and then you can pull some more. Now move it, move your index finger just barely over and you got your F. Dinner in the diner. So that's how I'm doing that F sharp diminished seventh. I'm barring second fret and dropping two fingers down on the third fret. So din dinner in the diner. And then all I have to do is pick up everything except my ring finger and I got my C. Nothing could be finer. And then the fastest way to do the D7 is with my middle finger here. Then to have your ham and eggs in. Drop my F. Carolina. And that's it. That's ever the, the rest of the song is duplication except for the outro. So, get nougat choo choo. Won't you choo choo me home? And then the last line. Won't you choo choo me home? I already have it barred, so from there, I slide up to the 7th fret for that G6, right? Sorry. All it is is a G6. You could leave it there, right? But it sounds more dramatic if you do it up there, and it sounds cooler. Okay, now I'm going to do a slow motion close-up play along from the intro through the first verse, the bridge, and then I'm going to uh, go, I'm going to do the whole song. It's a short song. <laughs> Here we go. But slow motion, slow motion, close up on my left chord changing hand in slow motion. So you can practice every chord tra <laughs> transition. Now here goes. Five, six, seven, and... Won't 
That's it. See you Wednesday. Bye.